Okay, let's try to do some more exercise. So here we've got question two, three, and also question five. So pause the video now, try first. A few moments later. Okay, question number two is said there's a ball going back and forth along the floor, bouncing off the two walls. So the picture that I can imagine is there are two walls and the ball just go back and forth like this. Okay. And so suggest so whether or not this motion is an example of oscillation. So I think, why not? Yeah, I mean, if one thing is, we have an assumption that's no energy loss, which is not really possible because when you hit the wall, there must be some sound, so it should slow down. But then, okay, let's just assume it doesn't. And then this is also 1D as well, then I guess it's possible. So it will go in the displacement time graph that is periodic. And it asks whether or not the oscillation is simple harmonic motion. And the answer is definitely no. Okay, so yes for oscillation, but no for simple harmonic. Uh, one very important idea is A proportional to negative X. And so think about the ball when it is rolling across, you know, the space between the two walls, there's no acceleration. If you can say uh, there's no friction, that's fine. But then the ball would not accelerate, you know, in, in throughout the space, except it was, has acceleration when it hits the wall because there's an impact force. So the velocity will simply be constant when there's no net force. So when there's no change in velocity, then obviously there's no acceleration. I mean, it's zero simply. So obviously it's not as a check. Question number three. So this question is basically turning 90 degrees of question two, which you have a ground and then the ball, you know, fall down and bounce back up, okay? And even if we try to assume there's no energy loss like question two, then uh, oscillation, I think it would be a yes. All right, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm okay with that. So the, like you can imagine the displacement time graph is also like, probably like this. Yeah. And so for the next question, whether or not it is simple harmonic, it is again, obviously no, because um, for simple harmonic motion, Again, like here, there's no equilibrium at all, right? I mean, acceleration, yes, you have acceleration this time, right? always having acceleration, which is due to the gravity. But then it's always going downward. It never go up, or right? it always go down. So it doesn't make sense, right? Because your displacement sometimes go up and down, right? Go up, go down, right? When you bounce off. So again, this is not as a Question number five. So here we've got kinetic energy over time graph. And the first question is asking you the mass, but then I think it is not solvable because the best thing you can get is the maximum of kinetic energy, which is 1.6. So you can say 1.6 joule equal to half mv squared, but then you don't know the velocity. So I don't think you can find out, even if you know period, which is in part two, uh, you still cannot find it. So part one is actually not solvable. Number two, uh, very often the student will think, hey, this is zero, this is four, and then this is, you know, one period, right? And so you may say the answer is four seconds. I probably would say that as well when I was a student, but then the answer is no, this is not four seconds. Nani? The answer is actually a double, eight seconds. And then you say, hey, how can I know this is not even in the graph? Think about that when you have the simple harmonic motion like again the simulation that you did then what you have is at the beginning let's say you pull already and this is the like the maximum point that you can do and then this is the equilibrium and then this is another maximum so this is x log this is another x log right and so think about this for one cycle you have to go here and then back to the same position right and at this point, this is when V equal to zero, right? And then it passed through the equilibrium. This is when V equals to maximum. 
and of course KD equal to maximum to so 1.6 and then this is V equal to 0 again so let me just use another color so from 0 go to maximum go to 0 back to maximum and back to 0 so if you think about this this is again here 0 maximum 0 maximum 0 okay so it actually have to go for like a M cycle I don't know whether this is a good way to say don't don't say in exam okay but just to help you to understand all right if you talk about four seconds it's just half the cycle only you only go to like from the bottom to the top only for this vertical system so the answer is actually eight seconds so make sure you don't fall into this trap in the future and part B I think is rather easy it asks you to draw the variation of potential energy over time and so uh, just to recall the energy will remain constant for the total energy and so uh, overall you should have a constant value for the total energy but that's not what they want ask you to draw they ask you to draw potential energy so when ke is at maximum then pe will be at minimum or the other way around so the other round is when ke is zero then pe will be at 1.6 so like i said before you draw directly i will want i, I would suggest you to anchor some point so uh, you can you know label them and so you can uh, make sure you pass through them later on so this is also a point this is also a point and this is not really so don't don't connect to don't don't think you can connect to this because this is not even completed exactly so other than this four you could also look at the half value because um, what happened is simply potential convert to KD and KD convert back to potential and if total is 1.6 that means the line will intersect at the half value so that would be 0 0.8 and so that's going to be here here and here all right so that at that point at least at that point the total is going to be still 1.6 so with that then we should be good to go just to make sure you draw a very smooth curve Okay, oopsie. <laughs> oopsie. Okay, and then I think this is 0 0.8. Yeah, so we can actually connect to this also. Oops. Right, it's, it's much harder than you think to draw on the computer. Trust me, I'm using a drawing pad, so it's hard. Anyway, so this is the line that you can draw for potential energy. Okay, so that is all for simple harmonic motion in the core topic. If you are studying HL physics, then you should expect seeing this again in chapter 9. And we'll put more, much more maths into that. So stay tuned for chapter 9.